Hi guys, it's Ryan here with Sigma Survival and in today's video I'm going to be talking about this book here, The SAS Survival Guide by John Lofty Wiseman. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so this little pocket book here, I do own the larger version as well, I own the full size version and I picked this one up to put in my girlfriend's little survival kit there's a video on that survival kit further down the channel so check that out if um if you get a chance but this is just going to go in there with it just as a general purpose survival guys now there's a few things in here that i don't agree with but this was written a long time ago and the knowledge in here generally speaking is really really good it's good as just a basic keep you alive kind of um, resource it's got everything in it from what you need in terms of kit and equipment, which is super important. You know, I base a lot of my time and effort onto improving my kit all the time, improving the, the, the rapid response of um, grabbing my kits and being able to utilize the kits. So that's a very, very important feature within this book. But also it goes into kind of like advanced skill sets in terms of like signaling let's say so it will tell you how to send a signal up to an aircraft from the ground so that you can convey a, a very specific message like i need a doctor um, we need um, food and supplies we need complete rescue or we don't need help at all it's you know it's things like this that are commonly overlooked i think people tend to focus a bit more on kind of bush crafty type skills like you know getting a primitive fire started and things like that and whilst this book does um give you those skill sets and whatnot or at least outlines them being able to signal for help is a very important skill set that i don't see a lot of people talking about but in this book it gives you exactly what you need in terms of that additionally one of my special type of skills is um medical skill sets um, and this book has a very very good foundation for pretty much anybody that wants to be better off in a situation let's say you don't have any medical skills whatsoever you know if you can open this up whilst you're dealing with a patient or maybe give it a bit of reading before you even deal with that situation you're going to be better off. It's going to teach you how to keep their airway open. It's going to teach you how to splint fractures, how to control bleeding. But this is where I don't agree with something that's in here, and that is the use of tourniquets. Now, this says that you should not use tourniquets. I wholly disagree with that. Let me tell you why. So, first and foremost, if you don't know how to use a tourniquet, it's simple. Learn how to use one. I do have videos on my channel surrounding the use of tourniquets so check those out the best tourniquet in my opinion for everyday use for every person to have is a blood pressure cuff get yourselves a blood pressure cuff maybe two okay these things will work to tourniquet the limbs they are effective they're used in the emergency room for, for that specific purpose back to what the book says the book is telling you not to do this because it doesn't want you to risk leaving that tourniquet on and creating even more problems than what you're already, you're already dealing with. So first and foremost, get some training on how to use a tourniquet. Know how and when to use it and when it's safe to release that tourniquet once you've dealt with the, the life-threatening injury that you, was, you, that you put the tourniquet on for in the first place. So other than that, you know, there's all kinds of resources in this book, um, medically speaking. It also teaches you about herbs. It teaches you about animals and insects that you should avoid. It teaches you how to build a shelter in the best way. There's pretty much everything. The first page I flicked to was um, extricating a casualty. So basically, it actually goes into detail on how to pick a casualty up that's unconscious versus conscious and it's realistic in its approach um, all of the herb pictures are in the hand drawn by the look at that illustrated but they're in color i like that because that means that i can better differentiate what i'm looking for same with the animals it shows you what the animals look like 
disaster preparedness. This is one thing that I see a lot of survivalists are kind of, I wouldn't say neglecting, but it's at the back of their minds, okay? We need to be prepared for any and all disasters. The world is a crazy place right now. Wildfires are on the rise. Um, floods are on the rise. In fact, there's been more natural disasters in recent times than there have been in centuries past, all at the same time. So we need to be thinking about what's actually going on here and we need to be thinking about how we can better prepare. This little book here will give you some basic essential tips. Moving forward, some of my videos are going to be addressing these issues specifically. I've got some exciting videos coming up on that in particular, so keep your eyes peeled for that stuff. But um, Campcraft, this will teach you how to create your own rope, it will teach you how to create your own fish hooks, how to, where to set your toilet up in camp. This book in itself is awesome. It will teach you how to navigate using the stars, what to do for food, you know, from insects to tracking animals to wild edibles. Yet again, the wild edibles are illustrated in colour. How to survive at sea. This is another thing that I don't see a lot of people preparing for. I had to get a ferry recently from England to Spain because I've moved to Portugal. And the whole time that I was on that ferry, I was, I was um, thinking, what would I do if I was in that vast expanse of water and help wasn't coming for an extended period of time, whether if that's a few hours or a few weeks, what would I do? Now, the first thing I did when I got on that, um, on that ship was look for where the lifeboats were, um, look for any sort of resources that could keep me alive, you know, for a longer period of time if I'm caught out. And the one thing that, um, it was actually my father-in-law that said it, because I thought about it, but I didn't think about it in the detail that he did, but there was no one watching the back of the ship, which I did clock, but he said that maybe everyone on the ship should have an RFID tracker that's linked to the, um, just a little keychain that goes on your, your hip or something, clipped onto your clothing somewhere, so that if you fall off that ship, you can be found. Now, I was on like a, I'm not gonna name the company, but I was on a pretty, busy sort of shipping lane or ferry lane with a prominent company that does this all the time and they didn't have that in place. So if someone was to fall overboard or if a few people were to fall overboard, what's to say that they would know that them pe those people were there? With this book here, if you was on a lifeboat, some of, the, some of the skills and tips and tricks that are in this book would absolutely keep you alive. It goes into pretty much universal survival mode. Um, is it gonna teach you bushcraft skills? Not necessarily. Is it gonna teach you advanced medical skills? No. Is it gonna teach you advanced communications and signaling skills? No, it's not. What, one thing that it did show was some basic means of um, descending on a rope and doing rope skills. I really like that as well. The one thing this does is it just gives you a general basic, basic, and I mean super basic means of surviving um, with some more overlooked and advanced skills than some of the books are showing. So I absolutely recommend this book. I recommend it for, for everyone, not just for survivalists, preppers, you know, even hill walkers, everyone should have a copy of this book. Um, yeah, what more can I say than that? I really, really enjoyed it. And like I say, I've got the larger version. I've also got the um, the small pocket size one, which is for my girlfriend. So she can have that in her kit. So if we were to get separated, because if I get separated from her, this is an insurance policy right here, because now she's got the information to be able to, to survive better, to be able to deal with an injury better, to be able to get from height with a basic rope and no other kit. It's information like this that could save your life. If she knows that there's a helicopter above, she's gonna be able to flip to the page and know what signal to put out. Hopefully she would have done that before it happens, but this is something that even I want to, to have in my resources. So maybe when I'm stressed and tired and hungry and cold and wet, maybe I'm gonna forget things. It happens. 
having a little book like this just to cross-reference is good. The only downside to the book is that it was written a, a, a fair while ago. Um, there's probably books that are a bit more up to date, but generally speaking, the principles and the universal things that are in there, like opening someone's airway, like signaling to an aircraft, they're gonna be the same. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, yeah, let me know if you've got this book. Let me know if you've read this book. Let me know if you're gonna read this book. Um, highly worth having in a, a bug out bag or a go bag or just a general, you know, hiking day sack. So yeah, let me know guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, yeah, I just thought I really had to put this out there because I thought it was a great resource that everyone should have or should at least think about having. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a few more book reviews in the future. I've, I've read some awesome survival books in my time. Um, some being medical, some being about navigation, some being about bushcraft. A whole host of different you know, survival books in my survival library, which I recommend everybody have. You know, um, information is critical. And if your phone was to go down in an EMP strike or you was to drop it in the river or you just lost your connection for whatever reason and you was in a prolonged survival situation, what would you do without that information? Information is critical to our survival. And the more information that you can have at your fingertips without having to remember it, you know, it's just a, it's just a win-win, isn't it? Anyway, let me know in the comments, like I said, please do like and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow. And um, thanks for watching. Till next time.